topic today is lightning design system this is a wonderful website i hope you all heard about and hopefully the one that will you will keep coming back to it has a lot of wonderful tools and i like to explore it for you i click this menu button and here we see the core areas of the website parts that are most relevant for us are component blueprints utilities design tokens and icons these are the four essential tools we will use to create beautiful lightning components they are ordered from a more micro to micro so let's start with component blueprints component blueprints are pre-built components that salesforce offers as you can see accordion you can open close it activity timeline etc a lot of wonderful things that salesforce has pre-built and all we need to do is just pick the one we like copy the code and then customize it further i love this i love these components because they make up pretty much everything that i want to show in my component for an app launcher page avatar brand band pretty much everything so far from my experience everything that i wanted to build i found in one of these components checkbox button standard checkbox and i love how on the right hand side it shows different variations i love how on the right hand side they show variations of the component so you can have a group of checkboxes required checkboxes and this is this this is powerful this is really powerful for developers saves us a lot of time look at this this is wonderful right just copy the code for example let's say i want to use this checkbox component i'll take the base variant so i'll copy the code paste it in my com component here it is let's make it a bit more tidy okay so here we go so here's a checkbox label i save the component i'll refresh it and here it is checkbox label that was really easy right we can check change the text very easily here this is a community page where i just pasted the component my first component yay so that's the story with component blueprints i hope you refer to this a lot there's a lot of great stuff here next item we'll look at is utilities utilities allows us to add customization to our components for example the alignment one when i have certain text or image or a button i can use this div class SLDS align absolute center to center my whatever I have. For example, let's just take this. Or let's just take the whole class. For example, let's look at it. So here's my my first component. I like to center it. Right now it's on the left hand side. Alright, so let's do this. So this component, this utility, absolute center will wrap our checkbox, and so we see it's right here. If we refresh it, now it's centered. Our component is from here to here. 
All right. SLDS. Absolute center. Okay. The class was absolute center child content and the child content was the checkbox. Alright, we can also add borders. The top border. See with there is no border at the top. We can change that by adding this. Let's refresh this. And now you see there is a border at the top here. Yeah? You see that the this is the length of the component. The the checkbox is centered and now there's a line going through the top. So utilities basically allows us to customize our components. So the components here in the top we have blueprints. The utilities allow us to add further customization to it. And I use them all the time uh, for alignment, borders, sizing, text. All right, so that was utilities. Let's look at design tokens next. Design tokens aren't used that much, but I think they should be. They deserve more attention. They help in customizing the CSS of our components. These are like static CSS resources. And and I learned to use this just for this uh, video and uh, that's one of the reasons I love creating these videos is that I learn new things in order to explain them to my viewers. Alright, so let's look at design tokens. So officially it's design tokens are visual design items of the design system. So not quite clear right what is this design tokens design items design system a lot of design basically so let's look at this so if we look at design tokens yeah we see that these are preset standard salesforce colors fonts and here we saw border colors font size etc so how is this is helpful is that is that I'll show you okay so here's my checkbox component and you see that it has the blue background the text it's because I use the background uh, token for it and here's how so if you look at the styling and here we see that this form element, the background to the text, the T stands for token and uses background color, my background color token. If we go to default tokens, token, we see that for background color, it uses this value. And if we check on color hexa, it's the Salesforce blue color and and that's what we see right here so if if your company has certain default background colors default font weight default margins etc these are very useful and because in your CSS you can just say font size okay. font size so your developer does not need to know exactly what font size you use uh, what exactly the background color is he'll just refer to the token and everyone on the team who is developing components will align with the corporate colors corp corporate fonts corporate style and if we want to change it the default background color all we have to do is go to the default tokens 
and let's pick another color let's say it, we'll use this gray so and Salesforce says this is the background for utility icons that live in the action bar on mobile all right so let's see let's take this one I saved it let's look let's look at how it comes up all right see I didn't have to change the CSS of the component I just changed the color in the design in the in the token in the default token and change it here and here and all my other colors that use that token so this is wonderful tool for synchronizing colors styles across our components so here font size all right next item is icons icons i love this is like art gallery this is like an art gallery for of icons that we can use in our component for example see this soccer ball say i want to use it i want to change it say i want to use an action icon and i want to ch take this icon it's a icon of priority all right so I'll, i go to my component here's the icon here's the interesting thing about the icons there are five types of icons action custom dog type standard utility if i use action you have to say action and then the type of action ours is priority so i say priority and save and now if i refresh the page this is a priority icon very convenient right you don't have to download a static resource it's all pre-built let's say i want to use a custom icon and i want to use a heart so i put custom here and i put custom one now i'll refresh the page and bam i got a heart here so these are four core i think four most important aspects of salesforce lightning design system these are component blueprints utilities design tokens and icons.